Hi there, and welcome to our advanced manual plugin video. If you haven't done so already, please be sure to watch our 2 minute overview video first before moving on to any other help videos, including this one. Now, on to the advanced manual plugin. The advanced manual plugin allows you to insert events into your app. There's a monthly calendar here that gives you a broad overview of all the events you have that month. Clicking on an event allows you to edit it. You can see all of the details of the event here, including title, date, name, and location. If you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see that you can also include links. Here's a Facebook event link as an example. To add an events manual plugin to your app, go to Plugins and Add Plugin. Find the events manual plugin. On this page, you can change the plugin icon, title, and whether or not it requires a login. Requiring a login means the user will have to create an account in order to access the events calendar. Let's create an event. Click on Add New Event. Here you can add an image with a carousel, a thumbnail image, and insert the event details. You can set the date, time, whether or not it repeats, location, as well as a brief description. Clicking Add Link will allow you to insert a link into the page to accompany your event. This could be a website with more information, a platform to sell tickets, or a Facebook event page. When you're finished, don't forget to click Done. To change the design of the events page, go to the Design tab and select any of the item layouts. You can also add a background image here. Now, the plugin has been created and exists, but is not yet accessible to users. You will need to add it to the app on the Home plugin, in a folder plugin, and or to the side menu. To add it to the Home plugin, go to Home plugin, scroll down and click Add Plugin Instance. Now select the Events Manual plugin you have created. It should show up here. To add it to a folder plugin, navigate to the folder plugin and click on Add Plugin Instance. should appear here. To add it to the side menu, go to Plugins, then Side Menu, and click on Add Plugin Instance. And it should show up here. Your Events Manual plugin is now accessible within your app. Don't forget to click Publish to push out your changes. If you haven't upgraded, please upgrade so that you can publish your changes. Thank you so much for watching! Be sure to check out our other help videos and we'll see you next time.